What is it like to own a Range Rover Sport, the most driver's car in the company's lineup? In general, it's wonderful, however, with a slight but. The Range Rover Sport, which appeared in 2005, is technically very close to Discovery 3. But to say that these are almost the same cars is wrong, that a Sport has its own suspension settings, engine, steering, other aerodynamics. The luxury SUV is stuffed with electronic systems. There is terrain response, which is in charge of off-road movement. Dynamic response, nipping at the bud the car's attempt to get out of control. Downhill assist system that also works in reverse. Electronic handbrake for the forgetful, turning off when you press the gas pedal. And also active cruise control, adapted by Xenon headlights, an onboard computer with rich intelligence and vocabulary. Not to mention the security systems, navigation, media center, and many more pleasant and useful components. Debugging such a supercomputer on wheels took more than one year. The manufacturer constantly made changes to the design, primarily to the software. In the piggy bank of cases that official dealers do not like to share, both funny and not very performances of electronic devices are known. Here, for example, one copy on a country road had mirrors, the right one succumbed to persuasion and the left one remained folded. Or, worse, the electronic parking brake refused to work. And when the car had to be removed from it, the owner did not dare to disassemble the brake system in the parking lot and set off on a thousand-kilometer journey to the dealership on a tow truck. Against this background, inscriptions appearing for no reason on the central display and failures in the operation of the infotainment system look like just childish pranks. In general, if you want the machine to think for you, then be prepared for its whims. A couple more breakdowns that got into the technical revocable and service bulletins. The coolant level sensor located in the expansion tank failed. At first, it was not supplied as spare parts, and this part could only be changed complete with the tank. Power steering fluid was leaking through the o-ring on the pressure or return hose. Cars that have been running on salted roads for a couple of winters often experience oxidation and, as a result, failure of the rear differential electric lock motor. Well, in general, problems with electrical wiring are not widespread. The most powerful engine in the lineup is the supercharged, a 4.2-liter, 390-horsepower, supercharged petrol unit. It is not surprising that with its acceleration to hundreds is 7.6 seconds. Little is known about the negative motor, in contrast to the six-speed automatic transmission paired with it. In it, when switching from first to second gear and back, many specimens had a dull blow. The treatment consisted in flashing the gearbox and engine control modules. The second gasoline engine with a working volume of 4.4 liters, 300 horsepower, does not stand out with anything other than a modest fuel consumption. There are a lot of diesel sports in the secondary market. First, a 2.7 liter engine, 190 horsepower, was installed. In addition to the problems associated with the low quality of diesel fuel, it has a drawback mentioned in the technical bulletin due to insufficient lubrication of the front bearing, damage to the injection pump is possible. Symptoms, noise in the engine compartment, traces of fuel leakage, the smell of diesel fuel. On all machines serviced during the warranty period at dealers, the pumps were changed free of charge. It is also important to know that the essentially penny operation of replacing glow plugs on this engine, which was not performed by specialists, can easily end up with a repair of the blockheads, about 75,000 rubles. The popular 3.6L turbo diesel, 272 horsepower, has so far been spotted with warranty replacement turbines and one climate-related nuisance. At an air temperature of minus 20 and only when driving on a motorway, the following happened. An inscription engine malfunction appeared on the onboard computer, and the engine went into emergency mode, reacting to the accelerator pedal in the minimum range. The stop-stop-start scheme helped to drive some more distance, and then everything was repeated again. Reflashing the control unit and replacing turbines offered by dealers did not guarantee a successful result. Also, at a temperature of minus 30, when the engine was started, various inscriptions could appear on the scoreboard, indicating violations in the operation of many systems. With warming glitches disappeared, everything started to work as if nothing had happened. Not so long ago, the issue was resolved by the warranty installation of a timer for the heater. As one owner joked, the gentleman is cold, he asks not to be disturbed until spring. You can say about the transmission in one line, there are no systemic troubles. Until about 2008, in an independent air suspension, 
replacing parts such as stabilizer bushings, silent blocks, steering tips, ball bearings every 20 to 30,000 kilometers was a common occurrence. Then their reinforced versions began to be supplied to spare parts. On versions with an active stabilizer, knocks when driving over bumps bother many owners, but they are not considered a warranty case. Replacing the complete system, about 40,000 rubles, usually helps to get rid of abnormal sounds. In the pneumatic part of the suspension, malfunctions are rare and are usually associated with mechanical damage to the body position sensors, the compressor, or their electrical wiring. The fact that the front wheel hubs will need to be replaced before even 100,000 kilometers is due to our roads. Indeed, on the Range Rover Sport, coating defects in the cabin are not felt, and the owners of these SUVs prefer to drive fast. Are there many cars on which you can first attend a high society reception, and then, despite the snowfall, drive to a country house? No wonder most of the owners of this car do not change the brand and, having traveled for a couple of years, they buy the next new Range Rover Sport. But those who want to buy a used copy should carefully approach the issue of acquisition, try to find documentary evidence of all operations carried out with it. Well, do not forget that without a lift and a specialist with test equipment it is impossible to check its technical condition.